you love cookies. In this video, there was way more cool stuff in Blacksburg. This town seems like small and lame. We're, we're, we're just the next door neighbors. Are you the new neighbor? Do you want to come hang out at our house? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't have any friends here yet, so I guess I could. Great, I'm Molly. And I'm Daisy. Welcome to our house. Wow, it seems really nice. It appears that you have an electrical problem. Huh, what? <laughs> what, what was that? Do you have a dog? Uh, no, that's just my baby sister. What? Why is she wearing that thing on her face? She bites. We just put that over her mouth so she doesn't bite off anybody's fingers. What was that? Who was saying my name? That was so creepy. Hello? Is anyone there? Look, family. We finally made it to Brookhaven. Honey, is our car having problems? Yeah, a little bit. But don't worry. With this new job, I'll be able to afford a brand new, amazing car. Oh, I can't believe we're actually moving away from Blacksburg. Honey, you're going to love it. You're going to make so many friends, and you're going to love the new school and everything. See, honey? Look at all this cool stuff there is to do. There was way more cool stuff in Blacksburg. This town seems, like, small and lame. Oh, honey, try to have a positive attitude. This could be a great new adventure for us all. Ugh, yeah, I guess. Well, the moving van should be right behind us. With all of our stuff, wait till you see your new room, honey. I think you're going to love it. Wow, this house is so adorable. Come on, Alyssa, you actually have to get out of the car. No, I know. I just thought I could delay it a little longer. I'm going to miss all my friends. I promise, honey, you're going to make wonderful new friends. And you can have your friends from Blacksburg come and visit us sometimes. It's like they're, it's like they're so far away, though, Mom. I know. Everything's gonna be fine. Come on, let me show you our new house. Whoa, it's so beautiful. Look at my kitchen. Oh, it's everything I always dreamed about. Oh, wow. Wow. A bathroom on the first floor, amazing. Yeah, mom, I know. Our old house was like a total fixer upper, but it was ours and I loved it. I know, Alyssa, but this house is amazing. Look at this. Whoa, look at this bedroom. I know, right, honey? And it's all yours. Say what? Where are you and dad gonna sleep? I'm so excited right now. Um, well, we have a we have a master suite on the first floor, but we really liked this house because, well, you're getting older now. We thought maybe you'd like to have your own almost like apartment. Are you serious? This is amazing. Yep, you have a king-size bed, a place for all your books, um, a window bed. It's kind of like a window seat, but you can totally lay down in it and like play on your phone or read a book or whatever. Then check out this closet. Whoa, it's huge! And a place to do your makeup before school in the morning, take a hot bath, just like chill. Oh my God, okay, I'm starting to really like Brookhaven. This new house is amazing. Well, I'm glad you like it, honey. Now, let's start unpacking boxes. Oh, I can't lift one more box. I'm so exhausted. Uh, no more unpacking. No more! Ow! What is the neighbor doing? Weird. What are in those bags? And what is he burying in the backyard? You know, I'm his neighbor now. I really have a right to know. <gasps> Honey, there's a lot more boxes. Come on, help. Uh, well, guess I can't be worried about what the neighbor's doing. Besides, it's probably nothing. Coming, honey. Oh, there's so many boxes. I know, but look at our new life. It's going to be amazing. The next day. Well, at least I can ride my bike in Brookhaven. Plaxburg, it's always rainy. Hi. Who said that? Whoa, who are you two? It's it's like you appeared out of nowhere. Oh yeah, no, we're, we're, we're just the next door neighbors. Are you the new neighbor? Um, yeah, 
My name's Alyssa. Are you guys twins? No. Why would you say that? Because you're about the same height, about the same age, and you're both wearing matching outfits. No, we're not twins, just sisters. And yes, we're in the same grade. You must be in the same grade as us, since you're the same size and height as us. Well, um, yeah, I'm going to Brookhaven. I, I just moved here. Oh, well, welcome to Brookhaven. Do you want to come hang out at our house? Uh, yeah, sure. I don't have any friends here yet, so I guess I could. Great, I'm Molly. And I'm Daisy. Nice to meet you. I'm Alyssa. Wait, did I say that already? Alyssa, that's a nice name. Yeah, Alyssa. Welcome to our house. Wow, it seems really nice, but it appears that you have an electrical problem. Huh, what? Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Whatever. Oh, <laughs> yeah, um, so uh, you guys got any snacks? <laughs> what, what was that? Do you have a dog? Uh, no, that's just my baby sister. What? Why is she wearing that thing on her face? <laughs> oh, yeah, my baby sister, she bites. We just put that over her mouth so she doesn't bite off anybody's fingers. Man, that poor man, man. He really is afraid of my baby sister. <laughs> oh, you bit my finger, you little monster baby. <laughs> Stay away from me. Psycho. Psycho. Ah, get away from me. <laughs> I quit. I quit. <laughs> so, do you want to spend the night? We have some delicious snacks. Uh, don't worry, our little sister. She's going to be fine. She seems to like you. Right, baby Kira? <laughs> She growls when she likes people. Um, well, I don't have any other friends, so... Yeah, okay, I'll spend the night. Yay! Hooray! Come on, let's go get some snacks. These snacks are delicious. You know, I thought you guys might be kind of weird, but the truth is, you seem pretty cool. Thanks. I don't think we're weird at all. Do you, Daisy? Us weird? No. <laughs> Daisy, stop laughing. Well, it was funny. <laughs> she thought we were weird. <laughs> Here's where you sleep, Alyssa. Oh, a sleeping bag. How cozy. We sleep here in this room, too. <laughs> sleep tight. Don't you want to get in your pajamas? Nah. My sister and I, we always sleep like this. Oh, Okay, well, I'm going to put my pajamas on and brush my teeth. And um, I'll see you guys in the morning. See you in the morning. Something seems weird about Molly and Daisy. Or this house. Or something. I don't know. I can't really put my finger on it, but it just feels creepy. Yeah, maybe I should just text my mom and ask her to come get me. Because, I don't know. Something just feels off about this place. What? No signal? Ugh, this stupid phone. Oh well, well it's only one night. <laughs> if they're weird, I just won't hang out with them anymore. Yeah, I'll make new friends. Alyssa. Alyssa. What was that? Who was saying my name? That was so creepy. Hello? Is anyone there? I'm being so ridiculous. It's just my silly imagination. I should just go to bed. And if I think Molly and Daisy are weird, I just won't hang out with them ever again. Psst, Molly, are you still awake? Yes, Alyssa, I'm still awake. Oh, <laughs> um, well, I was just wondering, have you ever noticed any ghosts in your house? Ghosts? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. Ghosts aren't real. Oh, Okay, well, good night then. Good night.
obviously freaking myself out. And now my stomach is growling. I'm gonna go downstairs and get some of that leftover pizza and hopefully not freak myself out for the entire sleepover. I hope there's some pizza left. I'm starving. Ooh, there is. Perfect. Hmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Delicious. I knew I was just freaking myself out. I really need to be, like, so much braver. And stop being such a scaredy cat all the time. Oh, wow, they really have a problem with their lights in this house. It's kind of creepy. No, Alyssa, don't think it's creepy. You're scaring yourself again. <laughs> Crazy night. Ugh, but I guess Molly and Daisy aren't that weird. It was all in my imagination. Molly? Daisy? Where are you guys? Must be they went downstairs to make pancakes. What? What are all these boxes for? And where's all the furniture that was in here last night? The couch, the chair, the TV? It's all gone. Hello? Is anybody here? Guess I'll just go home and have cereal for breakfast. Honey, anything from the police? No. Uh, did she text you? No. It's like she's just disappeared. Where's our daughter? I don't know, honey. Hopefully she just shows back up. I know. I can't stand this. I can't live without our daughter. <gasps> hey, Mom. Hey, Dad. Alyssa, where have you been? What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I was at a sleepover with the neighbors. What? You didn't ask us. You just disappeared. We were worried sick. We called the police. Wait, what? I texted you both, and you said it was fine. I I didn't get a text from you. Prove it. Okay. Let me show you on my phone. Wait a minute. Honey, it, it does say yes, that's fine. Did you text that back to her? No. Did you? Uh, No. Someone hacked into our phones. What neighbor did you stay at? Uh, Molly and Daisy? Uh, right over there in that big house? Wait, what? Yeah, Molly and Daisy Acker's house. Honey, no one has lived in that house for years. What are you talking about? Come outside, it's the nicest house on the block. Well, except for their electricity, that's kind of weird. It, the lights keep going on and off and on and off. See? Here's the house. Wait a minute. That's... That's not how the house looked last night. Okay, there's something really weird going on here. The Acker family, they haven't lived there for three years because three years ago, they were in a tragic accident and they all died. What? But I met Molly and Daisy. They came to my house yesterday and invited me to a sleepover. OMG. Brookhaven is haunted. That's it, honey. I don't care how good your job is. Pack your stuff. We're moving back to Bloxburg. Now! <laughs> Whoa, Dad! When did you get all those tattoos? What? Well, this? <laughs> I didn't get tattoos. I'm too afraid of needles. This is just a shirt I found for the beach. <laughs> oh, um, okay. That's kind of weird. How about this one? Ew, Dad! I can see your hairy belly button! That's a definite... <laughs> oh, yeah, Dad, that's much better. You look like you're from 1985. I don't know how to be fashionable, I mean! Well, just wear a shirt like me. Feed me burritos. Then people come up and give you snacks. It's the best thing ever. My bag is all packed. I'm ready to go. Well, my bag was actually packed last week. I'm so excited to get away. Just the two of us, you and me. Where's your bag? Oh, I haven't packed it yet. Don't worry. It only takes me like five seconds to pack. Yeah, and then you forget half your stuff at home and we have to buy it at Walmart. <laughs> well, um, I hope you guys have a great time. What kind of snacks did you leave for us? Oh, well, when the babysitter gets here, she can make you some snacks. Hey, everybody! I'm back from the park. It's super hot outside. Mom, we are too old to have a babysitter. 
Well, I know. <laughs> you don't need like after school care or daycare or anything anymore, but we're gonna be gone the whole weekend. We got this, Mom. We don't need a babysitter. Mom, seriously! Oh, now, come on. You love your babysitter. Remember the good time you had last time? Ugh, Mom! Oh, honey, do you need a diaper change? Diaper change? Lady, do I look like a baby to you? Everyone looks like a baby to me. I'm 90. Oh, this is gonna be a barrel of monkeys. Uh, we don't need a diaper. We don't need a bottle. Well, aren't you grumpy babies? You both should go take a nap. Uh-oh. Oh, hold still. Um, my back isn't very good. Put me down, you crazy psycho. I don't need my diaper changed. Somebody needs a timeout after their diaper change. Ooh, that smells terrible. That was just a fart, lady. There's more where that came from if you don't put me down. Ugh, that sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah, your babysitter is so lame. Thank you, Dad. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stay with her either. Honey, I think the girls are old enough to stay on their own. Uh, are you sure? Yay! I'm so happy right now. Yeah, um, Mom, come on. That babysitter is crazy and old. We're old enough to take care of ourselves. Okay, we can try it for this one weekend to see if you're grown up enough to get <laughs> Molly, don't screw this up for us. Yeah, Molly. What, me? I'm not the one. Well, Molly, you really are the one that usually gets in trouble. <laughs> you take after me for that. We'll be perfect as pie. Apple pie. Mm, maybe I should make one of those. Well, just don't burn down the house. Mm, this is the life. No parents, no responsibilities, and snacks. <sighs> Perfection. Dizzy, can I have some of that popcorn? No, you got your own snack. Unless, of course, you'd like to share your donut with me. Not a chance. So, uh, what movie are we gonna watch tonight? I don't know, Molly. It's getting kind of late. Shouldn't we go to bed? Are you kidding? This is the first time we've had no parents, no rules, no babysitter. I'm not going to bed ever. I'm staying up until I see the sun. Oh, and gee, that's a long time, Molly. I at least want to stay up till like 3 a.m. There's a lot of donuts to get eaten in that time. You gotta get a stomach ache. What are you, mom? Like guacamole, you sound just like her. You're being so naggy and bossy. Fine, okay, whatever. Let's stay up and watch this movie. Perfect. Dizzy, um, let's watch a scary movie. I don't know, mommy. We're here by ourselves. It's dark out. Good point. We should definitely turn off all the lights, too. Molly, it's getting super creepy. Now let's watch Scream. I haven't seen that movie in so long, and it freaks me out every time. Ah! I don't know about this, Molly. Oh, don't be so much of a chicken. Ah! I just see your snack and totally chill. Hello? Do you like scary movies? Um, who is this? Are you pranking me right now? Ugh, so annoying. What's your favorite scary movie? Uh -oh. Okay, this isn't funny. It's kind of creeping me out. I see you. <laughs> <laughs> this movie is scary. That's it. I'm out. Yep, don't want to watch it. Daisy, come on. Let's stay up till 3 a.m. Nope, 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 nope. Bye. Ugh, my sister is such a chicken. A few hours later. Ah, I can't watch this part. It's too creepy. Ah, no. Oh, what are you doing? Why do people always do this in scary movies? He's going to get you! Oh, so dumb. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's in my house. Where, where should I go? Out the front door? No. I'll go and hide in the basement. That's the smartest place to go, right? He'll never think to look down here. Ah! <laughs> Stupid teenagers. Uh-oh. I want my Okay, Molly, don't freak out. Don't freak out. I mean, this is the first weekend you've been left all by yourself without a babysitter or your parents. Just, just, just don't make them think that they can't leave you at home because you're a baby. When did I decide to watch that scary movie? Uh, oh, it's almost 3 a.m. I'm getting pretty tired. Uh, my bed seems so far away right now. 
I have to try to crawl up there. Who would be sending me a snap at 3 a.m.? It's probably Brookie. <gasps> what? What is this? <gasps> what? Who would send this? Wait a minute. Daisy knew I was watching the Scream movie, so of course she's pranking me by dressing up as Ghostface. All right, she's going to pay for this. Daisy, very funny. Daisy! What? Why are you yelling? Molly, it's like 3 o'clock in the morning. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you, Daisy? What are you talking about? You know what I'm talking about. That was not nice of you, Daisy! Okay, okay! You caught me! Molly's candy bar is delicious. I needed the snack so bad. She won't miss this candy bar. Are you serious right now? You ate my candy bar? That was the last one! You turd! Did you just call me a turd? That's it, I'm telling Mom. Really? Do you see Mom anywhere? No, you don't. Then I'm telling Dad. What are you doing? Call him at 3 o'clock in the morning? I don't care. Turd, 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 Oh, how mature, Miley. How mature. Daisy, we need to stop fighting. I gotta, I gotta ask you for real about something. What? After you've insulted me? Well, you ate my candy bar. Oh, we gotta stop fighting. Did, did, did you prank me just now? What? What are you talking about? Bit of sleep. The worst thing I did was eat your candy bar. Well, that was pretty bad, but what I'm saying is, is did you dress up as Ghostface out in front of our house? What? No, that's crazy. Besides, I don't have a Ghostface costume. Somebody did, and they snap sent me a Snapchat of it. Whoa! Daisy, but it is creepy. But don't send any reply back. It was probably just Sam or one of the bullies. But how would they know we were watching Scream? Well, they wouldn't, but maybe it's just a coincidence. I don't know, but, um, will you help me make sure that the windows and doors are all locked? Yeah, Molly, I think we should do that right now. Should we split up? I don't like that idea, but the house is really big, and we need to make sure that they're, that they're all locked up really quickly. Okay, I'll go into Mom and Dad's room. You check the windows in here. Daisy, I was supposed to check out Mom and Dad's room. Sorry, I was just kind of afraid to go all by myself. This is creeping me out, Molly. This is why I didn't want to watch a scary movie. Well, it's not like we made Ghostface come to our house. I mean, right? I don't know, Molly. Molly, was that a phone notification? Ah. Yeah. It sounds like it was a snap coming in. I don't want to take your phone, Molly. I don't either. But we better, Molly. I mean, what if he's still stalking us? Good point. Let's look. What is it, Molly? What is it? Is it Bookie? Please say it's Bookie. Daisy, it's, it's not Brookie. It's Ghostface again. And he's drinking my soda? What? sister. Ow. Really? Is this the time to call me an annoying sister when this could be the last moment together? 
Well, if it's our last moment together, could you make me a bean burrito? Because I'm starving. Manny! Sorry. I get really hungry when I'm nervous. Okay, let's just stick to the plan. Stay safe, sister. You too, Manny. Oh my god. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Please, don't let me die. <laughs> ow! 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 He stepped my toe! Ouch! Ow! Ow! But I trip over this if I give it heal! <laughs> <laughs> please, Ghostface, no, please! <laughs> I'm too young to die! <laughs> Dizzy, um, let's watch a scary movie. I don't know, Maddie, we're here by ourselves, it's dark out. Good point. We should definitely turn off all the lights, too. Molly, it's getting super creepy. Uh -oh. Okay, this isn't funny. It's kind of creeping me out. I see you. <laughs> Stupid teenagers. Molly, was that a phone notification? Ah. Yeah. It sounds like it was a snap coming in. I don't want to take your phone, Molly. I don't either. But we better, Molly. I mean, what if he's still stalking us? Good point. Let's look. Oh, but I trip over the sniffing of a heel. Well, well, aren't we chatty? You want to play a game? Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Good. Well, let's get your sister and we'll get started. <laughs> Is he following me? Is he following me? No! We made it, Dizzy! We made it! <laughs> Dizzy? Dizzy's not behind me! Where's Dizzy? What? What's that? He got Daisy! He's keeping her in a, in a basement, it looks like somewhere. What am I gonna do? Let me try to call the police. Come on, stupid phone! Why won't you work? Oh my god, he turned off my cell service? Oh, MG! Now that I have your attention, I'm gonna play a game. <laughs> what game? Let me talk to my sister! Quiet, you. No. I'm going to ask you some questions. And if you answer right, I'll let her go. If you answer wrong, she'll pay the price. What? You psycho! Let my sister go! Or, or, or! No. Follow the rules, or she pays. Okay, okay. I'll do whatever you want. Just, just don't hurt my sister. Good. What's your favorite scary movie? Well, it used to be Scream, but you're psycho, so you ruined that. So, I'd have to say, uh, Labyrinth. Labyrinth? With David Bowie? <laughs> yeah, that's super scary, and those things start popping their heads off and throwing them at the girl. Oh, my God. Poor Sarah. That was that was totally creepy. Th that's not a scary movie. That's playing. Now Daisy pays. <laughs> Snap. Oh, a snap just came in. What? Daisy, you're you're Now, pick a real scary movie. I'm 
sorry, I'm still picking Labyrinth. That movie sometimes really creeps me out. I love it, but it's still creepy when the goblins start popping up and whoa! <sighs> Okay, fine, kids these days. Uh, well, what's the Goblin King's name? Huh, Goblin King's name. G Goblin King's name. Uh, got it, Ghostface. It, his name is Larry. Yeah, that's it. La Larry? Where did you come up with Larry? I don't know. I get nervous and answer stupid things. <laughs> I also get yeah. gas when I get nervous. <laughs> well, that's wrong, so now Daisy pays. Well, Daisy, I'd like you to meet one of my closest little friends. Uh-oh! <laughs> Who are you calling little? Well, you, you're like three foot tall. I'm way scarier than you. Okay, let's not start this in front of the, the, the person here. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I gotta figure out how to save my sister. But, but, but will Ghostface take me seriously if I show up in my pajamas? Now it's my turn. <laughs> Remove the tape from her mouth, please. Ow! Oh, MG, are you serious? You gave me the worst haircut in the world. You gotta get the bill from my hairstylist to fix things. Uh, Jigsaw, can we, can we put the tape back on? Now it's my turn to play a game. <laughs> so, I'll give you two choices. You must decide between one or the other. Is, is that Mr. Fluffy Bottom? Where'd you find him? Would you like me to shave your head bald? Or light your stuffed animal on fire? You wouldn't dare hurt Mr. Fluffy Bottoms! Sorry, Mr. Fluffy Bottoms, but vanity kills. <laughs> Seriously, dude, that's the best you could come up with? Burn her stuffed animal? How is this supposed to torture her? Hey, quit telling me how to do my job. You invited me to this party. Burn, Fluffy Bottoms. Burn. <laughs> no! Did you get that on Snap? No, no, you get your own work on Snap. That's how we do this. Is this your first time? No, I burn lots of stuffed animals. How are we going to send it to the sister now? I, I'll just call her and she can listen to her cry. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> That's right. Cry. Cry. Let her hear your pain. What? She's not answering? Uh... No, no, it went, it went to What? Uh, why isn't she answering? I don't know why she's not answering. She, they've never not answered before. This is all new territory for me. This used to be easier back in the day. I'm done playing their crazy games. Don't worry, Daisy. I've got a plan. And this has got to work. Because I have to rescue you. <laughs> What's scarier than Ghostface and Jigsaw? <laughs> this is going to scare them out of their wits and let them, well, make them let my sister go. If only I wasn't nervous, which I totally am. I, I hope this old Halloween costume looks believable. <gasps> I borrowed my dad's axe. And I have a voice changer from last Halloween. To make my voice sound scary. <gasps> This should work. I'm coming, Daisy. I'm coming! Now what are we gonna do? The whole point of this game was to, was to bug her sister with this. What do you expect me to do about it? Like I'm supposed to be able to control whether a teenager answers their phone. Maybe I should have texted or sent a Snapchat or something else. Maybe TikTok? You want me to use TikTok next time? Let's face it, Ghostface. You should have retired a long time ago, you old fart. Ooh. Who you call an old fart? I am classic Hollywood from the twisted mind of Wes Craven, who's been terrorizing moviegoers for decades. Your new hat, and nobody likes you. Uh -oh. I've got nine sequels under my belt. <laughs> you died after the first movie. Lame. Uh-oh. Uh, 
Jigsaw. Did you hear that? I didn't hear anything. What? <laughs> um, okay, I definitely heard something there, and it was not something I wanted to hear. Uh, is that Jason Voorhees? Okay, I think I'm out on this one, uh, because I'm just some twisted guy in a mask. He is a force of nature. Ugh, Jason Voorhees, he's terrifying. He's what's scary. People like us are scared of. I want my mommy. Wait for me. Holy crap. Did that actually work? <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, this is gonna be kind of fun. Watch this. What? No! Not Jason Voorhees, too! I'm having the worst day ever! Daisy? Daisy, it's it's just me! Uh, Molly! Look, I put down the axe. How do I get this mask off? Ow, oh, it's kind of stuck to the back of my head. Ow! I'm not here to kill you. Ah! Sorry, I turned on the voice changer! Molly? Is that you? Yeah, but this Jason Voorhees mask is stuck on the back of my head. Ah, it's pulling my hair! At least you have him! <laughs> Whoa, Daisy, this has been a crazy day for you. Can you please take off that mask, Molly? Um, I can't. I don't, I don't know why it's just stuck to my face. But anyway, I got rid of Ghostface and Jigsaw. Everything's going to be okay now. Huh. I guess you're not such a bad sister after all. Yeah, and I don't know who that... Who that ghost face was? But he definitely is after us. Oh, we should tell the police. Who's gonna believe us that Jigsaw and Ghostface showed up at our house? They're just movie characters. Yeah. Good point. I don't know, Daisy. But but it's not gonna last forever that they think I'm Jason Voorhees. Eventually they're gonna figure it out. And they're gonna be even madder than they are now. They'll want revenge! shirt sums up how I feel about homework perfectly. <laughs> I'm wearing it to school today. Totally. La 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 Molly, you are so loud in the morning. I swear. I just woke up and you're like blah 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 blah. Yeah, that's what you sound like all day with me. Blah 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 blah. Do your homework. Don't fart in class. Molly, why you gotta be such an annoying sister? I'm going over here to eat my breakfast. Girls, could there just be one morning before school where you get along? No, probably not. Yeah, if Daisy could stop being so annoying. Ugh, girls. Hey, Mom, I know what would make us in a great mood. Okay, Molly, what is it? Anything at this point. Um, wait, what's this for breakfast? Ah, I dropped it on the floor. Oh, Mom, can you make me something else? I just dropped my food on the floor. Ugh, Molly. Yes, okay. Um, I was wondering, Mom, could we have a sleepover? I don't know, Molly. You got detention this week. No, but I did my homework last night. Molly, did you really? You're wearing a shirt that says, I don't like homework. Um, I mostly did it. Okay, <laughs> now I have my food. Didn't it look like I was flying across the room? Oh, <laughs> there's my food from earlier. I could eat it like a dog. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, yeah. hey, Molly, get in your chair and eat like a normal human being, please. Uh, no promise. Anyway, when just because my shirt says I don't like homework, doesn't mean I didn't do it. Collection, we didn't have any homework last night. Exactly. So I technically didn't not do my homework. Ay, ay, ay. I'm taking out the trash. Well, Mom, can we please have a sleepover, please? Whoa, you're actually on my side about this, Daisy? Yes, I am. It's a sleepover. Okay, a small sleepover. One or two friends. Yay! Okay, Mom, I'm taking this to go, okay? All right, have a great day. Thanks, Mom. Brookie, look! We got to school at the same exact time. <gasps> Whoa, crazy. It's like we're BFFs or something. <laughs> I just teleported here because, you know, Roblox and stuff. Whoa, wouldn't it be cool if you could teleport to school in real life? And also maybe teleport out of school when you didn't do your homework. Or you just really want to go to Starbucks and get something delicious. 
Uh, okay, Miley, whatever you say. No, for real. If you could teleport in real life, it'd be so cool. Right now, I want to teleport to McDonald's and have a Big Mac. And then I want to teleport to the water park. Uh, Molly, you're not in real life. You're in Roblox. Yeah, well, at least I can teleport here. Molly, maybe you should teleport your school books into your locker since it's completely empty. Um, I may have forgotten my books at home. Whoopsie! Oh, great, Molly. Don't tell me you're gonna get detention again. I hope not, because my mom said I could have a sleepover. And she said we could only invite, like, one or two people. And guess what, Bricky? You're on the list! Really? I am? Yeah, you're my BFF. Who else are we gonna invite? I don't know. You get to invite one more person. Who are you going to invite in besides me? I don't know. Definitely won't be sealed with a bully. I got an invite to a sleepover. What are we going to do? Are we going to eat popcorn? Are we going to watch scary movies? Ah! Check and check. Whoa, the bell. Come on, we don't want to be late. Well, if you forgot all your books, you kind of want to be late because you don't want to get in trouble. Language class. I'm terrible at this. Good morning, everybody! Bonjour! Bonjour, teacher! Did everyone do their French homework last night? Um, but, but you said we didn't have homework. Just kidding! Molly, I'd like you to say a sentence in French, please. Uh -oh. Stand up in front of the class. Okay, um... Je suis un zapper! <laughs> Molly! Okay, no laughing at the class, please. I mean, class, no laughing at the student, please. I mean, you know what I mean. Wow, you can speak French, but your English is not that great right now. Well, okay, you're just making me feel frazzled. Don't tease each other, please, Molly. Try the sentence again, please. Okay, I thought I made it pretty clear. Je suis un sapeur. Molly, you just said I am remote control. <laughs> Well, I might be part robot. You never know. Oh, boy. Okay, Molly, take a seat, please. We have a new student coming today, and I want everybody to be polite. She doesn't have any friends here yet, and she could use some. Her old school had a bit of a crazy thing happen, and the school got shut down. The school shut down? Are you serious? Wow. Why'd she come here, then? If my school shut down, I wouldn't go to a new one. I'd be like, hallelujah, school is shut down. Best day ever. Molly, you may take your seat now. No, I'm serious. I'd be like, what? Do you want me to try to say that in French? Qua! 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 Wow. Congratulations! You learned how to say one word in French. Uh, I guess I'm getting through to you somehow. Yeah! <laughs> I guess so. I'm going to do awesome on the test. Mm, uh, here's hoping, Molly. Wait a minute! We had a test? I didn't know about a test. What's she talking? Oh, Daisy, don't freak out. There's no test. I'm just saying, when there is a test, I'm going to do well on it. <sighs> yeah, I don't think so, Molly. Would you like me to say that in French? Um, no. Vous avez a chewy. What? Exactly, Molly. Oh, there's the new student now. Hi, Emily. Welcome to our school. Um, uh, hi. Whoa, she doesn't look too happy. Maybe if I'm friends with her, she'll be happy again. Hey, Emily, you can sit by me. My name is Molly. Um, okay, thanks. So, Emily, uh, you sad about moving to a new school? I'm just sad around people these days. What? Sad around people? Yeah, something really terrible happened at my last school. <gasps> it did? Um, is everyone okay? No. Except for me. I don't know how it even happened, but I have a guess. Um, I'm sorry something so terrible happened at your school. Um, hey, uh, my sister Daisy and I are really cool, nice people, and we're having a sleepover at our house tonight. Would you like to come? Really? You want me to come to your sleepover? Um, yeah. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll, um, text you my address. No, I, I don't have an iPhone. Don't text me. You could just send me a note. What? If we get caught in school with notes? <laughs> no passing is an immediate detention. Okay, well, you can just tell it to me at lunch and I'll write it in my notebook. Wow, harsh. Her parents didn't even get her a phone. <laughs> Man, parents these days. Molly, 
we did pick up friends who could heal. This is getting boring. I don't know, but they said they'd be here soon. So, you know, chill out. Molly, I don't know how to be chill. I like to do things. I don't like being a couch potato like you. Ow. And look who it is. Brookie. La, 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 da, da. Hey, Brookie. Oh, and Emily, too. <gasps> Come on in, girls. Let the party start. <laughs> Molly, are you going to make us popcorn and pizza? And are we going to watch scary movies? Ah. Yes, yes, and yes. I will go get the pizza now. It's cooking in the oven. Holy cheesy pizza does that smell good. Oh, that's making my stomach growl. <laughs> I can't wait to eat this pizza. I'm waiting like one piggy waits for another. Molly, you should wait for our friends. They should get the first piece. But I'm hungry. Molly, don't be rude to our guests. Wow, this pizza is so good. Yay, Emily's smiling. I'm so glad to see you're happy right now, Emily. Yeah, I'm just like, oh, I don't know. A little scared that the same thing might happen in my new town as my old school town. What? Nah. I don't know what happened there. You can talk to us about it if you want. Or you don't have to, but we're cool. Everything's going to be fine here in this new town. You just wait and see. Yeah, Emily, we're so excited that you're a part of our school. Yeah, exactly. I have to snap this. What? Why do you have Snapchat open? Close that right now! I didn't say that I would be on Snapchat! Close it! What? Um, but, but, but everybody uses Snapchat. Not I! I! I don't use Snapchat! Close it right now! Whoa, Emily! What's up with the attitude? That's not very nice. My sister just wanted to take a Snapchat of this really nice sleepover with you. I, 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 I don't think I can stand this sleepover. Wait, what? No, Emily, what's wrong? Tell us what happened. Yeah, come on, tell us what happened, because you're being kind of rude, and I thought you were going to be a good friend, but now I'm not sure what's going on with you. Molly, I'm sure she has a good explanation. Okay, you guys are going to think this is crazy, but... Everybody in my school started disappearing one by one. And when they came back, they weren't the same. Weird, crazy, strange things happened around my school. Strange things? Yeah, some people, they never returned. Some people came back and it was like they were possessed, evil. Like, like something was making them into a living puppet. <gasps> what? That can't be right. And what does a phone have to do with that? I just noticed that it would happen after someone put up a Snapchat. Ah, boring prank. Sounds like the oldest one in the book to me. What? I'm not pranking you. Yeah, boring. Oh, let's go watch the Scream movie. That's much scarier. I'm not pranking you. You have to believe me. Why do you think we moved to this town? Molly, I don't think she's kidding around. Sorry, I thought you were pranking me, Emily. I'm not pranking you. I'm telling you, you guys should never use Snapchat again. So this is why you don't have an iPhone. You're afraid of Snapchat? No, my parents are really old school. I never had a phone, which is probably why I'm the only one that didn't go crazy at my school. <laughs> Whoa, makes sense. Well, um, how do you know this is absolutely true, though? Because... Snapchat was the only thing that everyone had in common. Well, I say there's only one way to find out. Molly, put that phone away. You don't know what's going to happen. Uh-oh. Yeah, Molly. Well, then, I think we should draw straws. Whoever gets the shortest straw has to test this concept by using Snapchat. I don't know if this is a good idea, Molly. Well, do you want to know if what happened to your classmates or not? We have to get to the bottom of it. Does everybody have their drink straw? Let me drink the strawberry shake first. <laughs> Delicious. Okay, who has the shortest straw? Oh, no. I have the shortest straw. I have to test the concept. Uh, I'm sure it's just nothing. I wouldn't say it's nothing. If you went to my old school, old school, you wouldn't have thought it was nothing. Well, come on. Let's make a Snapchat. No, I'm not going to be in it. This thing might spread, and, and, and I don't want to be possessed. Okay, Daisy, well, you're on your own. Good luck with the demons. Ow! What? 
Okay, fine. I'll go into the bathroom and I'll Snapchat Bale. Nobody wants to hear your fart, Daisy. I'm not gonna take a Snapchat of me farting, jeepers. Molly, do you think that this is real? Well, Emily says it is. Guys, you need to believe me, it's real. Okay, Emily, we believe you, but we still wanna test it, okay? Because maybe it was just a coincidence. Your sister's never gonna be the same uh -oh. after this. It was nice knowing you, Daisy. I don't know what the fuss was all about. Oh, she's gonna be crazy! I'm not crazy. Nothing bad even happened. Chef your snaps. Okay. Um, Daisy, you seem pretty normal. Let's go into stories and see. Oh, why can't I use my Snapchat right now? I don't know what's wrong with me. Not working. Weird. Okay, here we go. Daisy, I don't, I don't see anything. Wait, what, what's that behind Daisy? What, what do you mean what's behind me? Guys, look at your snaps. Something really weird is happening. I don't have a phone, so I can't see, and I'm glad about it. I don't want to see anything. I see it, and, and it looks like there's some sort of creepy puppet behind Daisy. What? No, that's not. I took that snap myself, and there was nothing there. Um, Daisy, are you pranking us? No, I'm not pranking you. Go look at the bathroom. There's no creepy puppet in there. She's right, guys. There's nothing in here. Well, then where did this creepy puppet thing come from in your snap? I don't know, but I'm going to test this theory and see if it shows up on my Snapchat. That's such a bad idea, guys. Please. I can't lose my new friends, too. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I'm just going to go out here in the garage and take a snap. I'm sure nothing's even happening right now. La, 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 la. Hmm. I see absolutely nothing. Hey, everybody. I'm just taking this snap because um, my new friend Emily said that if you use Snapchat... It basically possesses you, and I just, I want to say that I think it's a myth, because I don't see anything on my snap, and, but Daisy saw something on hers, and I don't know, it was, might have just been a glitch or something, so I'm sending this to everybody so they can see nothing is there. There! I sent it, guys! Take a look at your snaps! Um, Molly, this is a good... The puppet is behind you, too! Ah! Yeah, Molly, I see it on my screen, too. Huh? What? Let me see that. Oh, my God! This is about to happen to me again! You guys are gonna disappear, and then, and then you're gonna turn evil! I just know it! Emily, it's gonna be fine. I'm sure that there's just some sort of explanation for this. No one's gonna disappear. <laughs> Molly? Daisy just disappeared. <laughs> what? Daisy? Where'd she go? She vanished right in front of my eyes. Molly, that means you have less than 10 minutes until you vanish. Uh-oh. That's about the time between your Snapchats. Oh, um, gee. There's nothing you can do about it, Molly. You made a Snapchat, and the puppet is coming for you. <gasps> the puppet? Now this creepy thing has a name? Well, it shows up as a puppet. I never knew that before. Why? I... Why'd you let us do this? Emily? Why? I tried to stop you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh my god. I'm gonna disappear and then I'm gonna come back evil. Don't worry, Molly. I'm your best friend. I'm gonna try to figure this out. I I hope. Well, what do I do for ten minutes? <coughs> I know. I gotta have a snack because if I'm gonna be evil, I might not remember what it tastes like to eat something delicious. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake, milkshake. Gotta put it in my tummy before I disappear! Molly, only you would be disappearing in like five minutes and you'd be eating food before you disappear. Well, I mean, priorities. Oh my god! Molly disappeared! Oh I tried to warn you guys this was going to happen, but the puppet, he came for both of them. But she was my best friend! Yeah, but you didn't make a snap, so maybe we can figure this out together. I hope so, Emily. I really hope so. Hello, Emily. Nice to see you. Um, oh, it's the Snapchat puppet. Emily, what are we going to do? Maybe we 
could talk sense into her. It is still Daisy, right? I don't know. I don't like this, Emily. I don't like this at all. You shouldn't like it. Because... I'm the Snapchat puppet. Ha 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 ha. I don't know what to do. My best friend is going to show up as a Snapchat puppet next. <laughs> Why are you crying, little baby? Now come with me, Emily. You're what we want. What? Why me? Why me? Because you got away from the last school. But you won't escape now. Now. Look at Snapchat Puppet. Where am I? I don't know where I am. <laughs> Welcome to your nightmare. Am I in math class? What's going on? This is where you'll live forever with me, the Snapchat Puppet. Wait, what? You brought me to math class? Oh, God. This is really the worst. What do you want from me? You will be one of me, a Snapchat puppet that will rule the world. Um, well, um, that sounds boring. Mm. Mm. What are you doing? I'm eating a cookie there, Ignoramus. What's it look like I'm doing? Why are you eating a cookie? I'm about to possess you. Aren't you scared? Um, not really, because I'm just not. Really scared of much, actually. Except for living without cookies. But since there's cookies in this crazy nightmare place, I'm good. What? No, you have to be afraid in order for me to possess you. Well, good luck with that. Hmm. You're not that scary. You're like a Snapchat puppet or something? Like, what is that even? Are you making fun of me? W what? Um, well, if you're gonna bring me to math class and try to bully me, then I'm pretty much gonna be like. <laughs> Did you just fart? Um, yeah. I did. Mostly because I think this is so ridiculously stinky. Now let me out of here right now. No, you will be a Snapchat puppet, whether you like it or not. Now be afraid. Okay, Mr. Snapchat puppet. Let me tell you something. I've been playing Roblox for a real long time. I've faced Chucky. I faced, uh, let's see, almost every Abby ever created. I escaped Evil Granny. Ooh, she was a creepy one. Uh oh. Piggy, Siren Head. Would you like me to go on? What? I'm the evilest one of them all on Roblox. <laughs> Not even close. Have you seen our Bloody Mary video? <laughs> Still gives me chills. <sighs> you guys should watch that one if you haven't seen it. Anyway, back to this evil Snapchat puppet. I'm not afraid of you. Now, how do we get out of here? You can't. Actually, I just opened the door. Uh -oh. This isn't even an alternate dimension. It's just at my school. You're a lame bad guy. Bye. Ow. Emily, Brookie. Oh, my God. Daisy? <gasps> oh, Molly. Please, don't try to hurt us. What? What are you talking about? I'm fine. Wait, what? Emily, stop crying. Why is she normal? I don't like that. Um, Daisy, enough with this Snapchat puppet thing. Oh my gosh, she wants me. It's the only way to make the Snapchat puppet go away and to give you your sister back. Wait, what? No, I'll just offer her a cookie. She loves these. Daisy, here, eat this cookie. I don't think so, little girl. <laughs> I've got your sister. Now give me Emily or else... What's so great about Emily? She has powers to see the future. Seriously, is that true, Emily? Well, um, maybe a little. Well, you didn't mention that. It's okay, I'll go with the Snapchat puppet. No, we're not doing that. Yes, you are. Say goodbye to your friend, Emily. She already agreed. Wait, what? Here's your lame sister. Ha 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 ha. What a nerd. She just kept thinking about science this entire time. Daisy! Daisy, say something! I love science. I love it. What, what happened? Daisy, are you okay? Yeah, I'm alright. What happened? The Snapchat puppet. It possessed you. I can't believe this. Where? Where's Emily? I don't know. 
Oh my god. I don't even know what to do. Wait a minute. I do. Molly, why did you have your phone by now? This is such a bad idea. Because I have a feeling that Emily's going to be stuck inside Snapchat. I don't see her, Molly. Where is she? I don't see her weevil. She's, she's not going to show up on Snapchat. Guys, the puppet. He's got me. No, there she is. She's on our Snapchat. Emily, just try to resist. Don't give in to the Snapchat puppet. It's no use. I'm one with him now. I'm one with the Snapchat puppet forever. I see. I can stay in my pajamas all day, eat donuts, watch TV, pretty much just be lazy. I don't know why you do your papa. Yeah, baby Kira, that's right. We can be lazy. Hey, girls, do you want pancakes for breakfast? Yeah, Mom. Serve up some hot pancakes. I can't wait. Um, I want peanut butter and syrup on mine. Ew, peanut butter. Hey, don't knock it till you try it. Put a layer of peanut butter on top of your pancakes and then put some um, syrup on the top. Oh, it's the best ever. Dad taught me how to do that. I know, my dad, you know what we have. Yeah, baby Kira, you can have some pancakes too if you want them, but you can't eat any of mine. <laughs> Good morning, it's a happy Saturday. Oh, maybe not. It's my boss calling. Hello? Uh-huh. Oh, no, no, I have my girls this weekend. I can't work. Um, I, okay, well, I guess I could get their grandmother to stay with them. If you really need me on this business trip, I guess. Oh, the girls are going to be so disappointed. All right, bye. Girls, um, I have some bad news. What? Are we out of peanut butter? Because that would be terrible. Actually, no, I didn't make pancakes. What? This is a tragedy. I need my pancakes. It's Saturday morning. Well, maybe your grandmother can make them for you girls. Grandma? Where's Grandma? I don't see Grandma. All I see is you, and you're not making pancakes, Mom. Come on. It's the Mom thing to do. I can get my baby. Yeah, I get Papa. Yeah, see? Kira even agrees with me. I'm sorry. My boss just called, and I have to go on this last-minute business trip because the other employee actually got sick, and, well, someone needs to go on it, so your Grandma's going to come stay with you overnight. But Grandma always burns the pancakes. Sorry, Molly, but uh, I have to be a grown-up. I don't care. I'm just going to watch this TV show, and I'm good with eating an apple. Well, I'm not. I want pancakes. Mom, can we just stay here alone? We don't need Grandma. She can be a little annoying. No, you can't stay here alone. Besides, baby Kira definitely still needs a sitter. Oh, Grandma will be here any minute. Oh, man. Good morning, my beautiful granddaughters. Hi, my sweet little baby Kira. Whoa, Molly, what are you still doing in your pajamas? Grandma, in case you didn't get the memo, it's the weekend. I can be in my pajamas all day. Well, back in my day, we actually got dressed. Well, back in your day, dinosaurs roamed the earth, but, you know, who's counting? Oh, very funny. Hi, Daisy. Hi, Grandma. Sorry I didn't say hi right away, but I was watching this amazing science program about dolphins. Oh, she's my smart one, isn't she? When you say it, I'm the dumb one, Grandma. Come on, that's kind of rude. I think I'm like, yeah, I'm the baby. You are the baby. Grandma, by the way, we did not have breakfast, and we are going to need pancakes. Stat! Oh, that's very true, because I need pancakes in order to take my medicine. I don't know, but I can pack up with my, my vitamins. Daisy, ever notice that Grandma and Baby Kira are a lot alike? What's that nothing alike, Molly? One is old and one is young. Yeah, but they're really alike. In what way, Molly? Just watch today and you'll see exactly what I mean. Oh, Grandma, you burned the pancakes! Sorry. In my day, you were just glad you got food. We didn't always have food. Oh, man. 
Well, is that because the dinosaurs ate all of it? No. Uh, where do you get the notion that I'm as old as a dinosaur? Um, your wrinkly face? Molly! Sorry. Okay, baby Kara, eat your pancakes so you can take your, um, your vitamins. See, Daisy? They both have to eat so they can take their pills. One way that they're alike. I guess, Molly. Hmm, these pancakes were, well, burned. Hold on. I have to call some of the girls in my sewing circle. I need to call my friends. No, you're not like Grandma in that way. You don't need to be on your cell phone. Oh, yes, Ethel. You haven't noticed how loud she talks? I'm a little teapot. Again, Grandma and Baby Kira are so much alike. They're both very loud. One is because she's a baby and she's just loud. And the other one is because Grandma can't hear anything. Oh, Ethel, I know what you mean. I'm a little teapot. Okay, I'm, I'm getting dressed and going outside. Oh, I've got to go. I'm with my grandkids. Wait for me, Molly. We'll all go outside and get some fresh air. I need fresh air. Good for my old lungs. I need fresh air, too. See? They both need fresh air. They're so much alike, Daisy. Come on, Daisy, you slowpoke. Whatever, Marty. I had to finish my science. Your science? It's the weekend. We don't have to do homework on the weekends. Grandma, why do you have that giant bag? Oh, it's just my stuff, you know. Um, I have some snacks and, and also some things for baby Kira. See? They both need a huge bag for all their stuff when they leave the house. Whee! Damn fun! Just tell my fun! Whee! I love it! Oh my, I have to go take a bathroom break. Be right back. Okay, Grandma, no problem. Thanks for announcing that to everyone. You're welcome. Watch your baby sister. Uh, Molly, I got go potty. You gotta go potty? All right, come on. Grandma, wait up! Baby Kira's gotta go to the bathroom, too! Oh, come on, baby Kira. Let's go. Daisy, come on. Let's ride on the swings until they get back. Whee! <laughs> Whee! Daisy, you want to play some soccer with me? Ah, Daisy, don't run into me with the swing! Sorry, Molly, but you never walk under somebody that's playing on the swing, duh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> okay, this is super fun. Uh, come on, I can go potty. Oh, so don't I. You guys just went potty five minutes ago. You have to go potty again? See, Daisy? See what, Molly? They're like that way, too. They have to go potty every five minutes. Daisy, don't lose my soccer ball on the road. Uh, it's a gone, Molly. Daisy! Okay, get my soccer ball. <laughs> Baby Kira, what's wrong with you? Well, you're sitting on him. Maybe that's what. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I just came to see what was wrong, and um, Brookhaven made me sit on you. <laughs> Congratulations. Now she's crying just as much. Uh, Grandma? What? What do you want? Whoa, Grandma, you're about as grumpy as Baby Kira. That's because it's my nap time. I'm very tired. Oh, funny, that's Baby Kira's bat nap time, too. See? Another way they're alike. She needs a nap, and she needs a nap. All right, well, come on, everybody. Better go home so you guys can take a nap. Baby Kira, come on. Let's go up to your room, and I'll tuck you in, okay, and sing you a lullaby. I want to take a nap. You have to take a nap, Baby Kira. <sighs> come on. No nap, no nap. Baby Kira, lay down. Is she sleeping already? Whoa. Well, I guess I'll sing her a lullaby just in case. Go to sleep. Don't wake up for three hours or you'll be grumpy. Yep, she's out like a light. Better go check on Gran now. Make sure she's sleeping okay. Look, Molly. Grandma's sleeping like a baby. <laughs> That's because Grandma is a lot like a baby. Oh, what, what did you girls say? Um, nothing, Grandma. I can't hear anything. My hearing aids aren't working good. Sometimes if someone sings to me, they work better. While I adjust the volume. Seriously? Now I have to sing to you too? Okay. Go to sleep. Don't wake up. 
For three hours or you'll be grumpy. Marty, whoa, you're white. Grandma and Baby Kira are not alike. Baby Kira, what are you doing on a bed? I, I had an accident. Oh, you. Oopsie, so didn't I. Ah, you guys are more alike than I really needed to know. Ew. <laughs> All this delicious Halloween candy. Smell that sweet success. Molly, Halloween was like, I don't know, at least a month ago and you still have candy? It's probably old. I want candy. No, you guys can't have my candy. It's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Molly, it's going to go bad before you can eat it all. You could give some to baby Q. Besides, she didn't really go trick-or-treating because she was still too little. Well, too bad for her. I did all this work and it's my candy. Mine, mine, mine. Oh, baby Kiwa, I'm sorry Molly's so selfish. If I hadn't have traded all of my candy in for healthy snacks, I'd give you some of mine for sure. I just, I just want a piece of chocolate. I know. I'm sorry, baby Kiwa. Okay, I feel sad. You don't buy the job, or you don't go buy. Mmm, this Halloween candy is delicious. I've got to find a place to hide it that'll be safe. Because I bet you Daisy's going to want to steal some. Oh, um, where can I put it? Oh, I know. I can put it in here. Um, where can I put it? Um, uh, uh, uh. Oh, I'll put it in the cabinet in here inside the bathroom. <laughs> no one would ever think to look there for candy. <laughs> well, well, well. What do we have here? Two people who don't have Halloween candy. <laughs> Molly, can you stop rubbing it in? I mean, Baby Q is sad that she couldn't have any chocolate. Well, maybe next year she can go trick-or-treating. But you have to wait 11 months until then. <laughs> Molly, are you torturing your baby sister? Leave her alone. Or else you're going to be grounded. Grounded? What do you mean? I didn't do anything. Molly, I will make you do these dishes every day for a year if you don't behave yourself. Okay, Mom, okay. Sorry, baby Kira, that I was being rude. I just, I just, I, I just want candy, but I, I don't got to have candy. Well, it's time to head off to school. Ah, I'm so glad I got up early so I could chill a little bit. That science test has really been stressing me out. Bye, baby Kira. Bye, Mom. Have a good day at school, girls. Bye. Uh, last one to the school is a rotten egg. I'm not a rotten egg, Molly. You are if you don't get to the school last. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Ugh, is this school day over yet? I keep thinking about all that delicious candy. Candy, 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 candy. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going insane. I can't take any more school. Blah, 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 blah. I gotta make the basket. Hey, Molly. It's the last class of the day. Molly. Wake up, Molly! Huh? What? Ah, why are you throwing a basketball at me? Hey, Molly, how was school today? Let me sum it up for you. Blah, 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 blah. I'm pretty sure your teachers didn't just say blah, blah, blah all today. Well, that's exactly what it sounded to me. I need some candy and stat. I can already taste it. It's going to be delicious. What? Where's my candy? Oh, wait, maybe I put it on the left-hand side. <laughs> maybe I put it under the sink. <gasps> my candy. It's it's missing. Daisy, where is my candy? What? What are you talking about? I don't know. Did you eat it all? Of course I didn't eat it all. I mean, I'd like to eat it all, but I saved some just because I knew today would be, well, schooly, and I, I, I knew I'd need some candy. Schooly, is that even a word? Let me Google it. Daisy, just give me my candy, now! I didn't take your candy. I don't even know where you're hiding it. But you know that I'm hiding it. 
Which then means you know that I was hiding it. What? What are you talking about? I just figured you hid it because you're so greedy with it. And that's precisely why you decided to eat it all yourself. You owe me a million dollars. A billion dollars? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. No candy's worth a million dollars. Molly's candy is. My candy's worth a million dollars! <laughs> well, even if it was worth a million dollars and I had a million dollars, I didn't take your candy. But, but, if you didn't take it, who did? Uh, maybe you just ate it all. No, I didn't. Fine, you don't want to admit it, you being a liar? Okay, fine, 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 and also fine. I'll just catch her on the security cameras. That's what I'll do. Yep, yep, yep. I need to go and put some security cameras up, and, and then I'll catch my sister red-handed. There. This is perfect. Look at, sti look at my sister just standing there. She knows she's been caught. <laughs> Ooh, Mom's making tacos for dinner. My favorite. Where is that? bag of candy. Oh, wait, look, there's me. Hi. I don't see a bag of candy anywhere. It's got to be somewhere around this house. Nobody knows the trouble I've seen. I've lost all my candy. I found your, I found your candy. What? Baby Kira? You found my candy? Oh, you're the best little sister ever. Can't believe Daisy stole my candy. Okay, girls, time for bed. You have school in the morning. Molly, what are you doing with that bag of candy? You can't take that to bed. Oh, yes, I am. Someone has been eating my Halloween candy. And, and, and if it wasn't for baby Kira, I would have never got it back. Molly, put your candy down. You're not taking that to bed. Fine, but if anyone steals my candy, it'll be all your fault. Oh, whatever, Molly. Nobody wants your stale Halloween candy anyway. She's just saying that because she's the one who took it. Molly, it's not nice to accuse Daisy. You don't know she was actually guilty. Oh, no. I know she's guilty. I can see it in my mind. Mm. Daisy's the best Halloween candy ever. Mm. I'm eating all of Molly's candy. Mm. And it's delicious. Molly, snap out of it. Oh, sorry. Anyway, I just know that Daisy did it. I can see it. Well, until you can prove it, quit accusing your sister. Now put down that bag of candy and get into bed. Fine, Mom. Good night. Good night, honey. I love you. No one better eat my candy. No one better eat it! Wow, oh, what a beautiful morning. <gasps> Wait, my candy. Where is that my candy? Where? <gasps> Wait a minute. My candy's missing again, and you're up already. Of course I am. I always wake up at 6.15 every single day because I have a very, very busy schedule before I go in and be the best student I can be. Liar! You stole my candy! I did not. You are so rude. O-M-G. Well, you're about to get caught. I'm going to review all of the footage from this camera. Go right ahead. I was sleeping all night. All right, I'm logged in to the house security cameras. Huh, nothing looks strange here. Oh, there I am, sleeping. And there's... There's Daisy all snug in her bed, too. And who took my candy? <gasps> Some sort of monster! Daisy, do you think it was Mom? Of course it wasn't, Molly. Mom can afford her own candy. Wait, what is that? <gasps> is that baby Kira with my candy? Oh. My. Gosh! Evidence! Proof! Okay, Molly, I'm waiting for it. Waiting for what? Your apology? Oh, yeah, sorry and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can't believe that baby Kira stole your Halloween candy. I know, I know. I'm gonna go confront her about it right now. Good luck, Molly! Baby Kira? I'm Molly. I, I just woke up. Oh, yeah. Um... I have a question for you, baby Kira. Okay, what am I? What are you eating? Oh, nothing. I'm just eating my tongue. You're eating your tongue? Seriously? That's the answer? Oh, four-year-old logic. So, um, did you sneak into my room last night and steal my Halloween candy? What? Me? No. 
Baby Kira, are you lying? Be my Neville. Baby Kira! Why is there chocolate all over your face then? I not talking. Well, what else could it be? Chocolate is chocolate. It even smells like chocolate in here. I don't know if I'm not chocolate. Baby Kira, I saw you on the security camera taking my Halloween candy. And I'm telling Mom. Mom! Baby Kira, you're getting a timeout. I want that, Mom. No! That was very naughty of you to take Halloween candy from Molly. And we do not lie in this house. So up in the chair, please. This is your timeout. So many timeouts over the years, I've lost count. I don't want to eat candy anymore. Oh, that's good because there's only one piece left. You ate all the rest of it. Oh, boy. I definitely need a vacation. Away from everyone. <laughs> hey, Mom. Maybe you should give yourself a timeout. <laughs> Very funny, Molly. Very funny. <laughs> Good morning already? <laughs> Good morning, Molly. Time to wake up. It's okay, Mom. I'm already sort of awake because I was like super hungry, so my stomach woke me up. <laughs> you have a stomach alarm clock, huh? Yeah. Sometimes it comes in handy, actually, because <laughs> I want to sleep through the alarm that wakes me up for school. But you can't sleep sleep through it being hungry. No, you really can't, Molly. Come on, let's go in the kitchen and we'll make some breakfast. Sounds good. My stomach's like grumbling. <laughs> Whoa, what are all these pumpkins for, Mom? Oh, I'm going to make a pumpkin pie and also an apple pie and... Ooh, leftover candy from Halloween. Um, Molly, Halloween was like two months ago. Yeah, and the candy doesn't go bad, Mom. <laughs> Molly, you can't have candy for breakfast. Good morning, everybody! Good morning! Molly, why do you say it like that? Because, Daisy, I was like, good morning, annoying sister. Molly, don't be rude to your sister. Mom, can I have a banana or something? I'm so hungry. Yeah, you can have a banana because that's healthy. But then we're going to have a regular breakfast, not Halloween candy. <laughs> Maddie wanted to eat Halloween candy for her breakfast. She's so immature and irresponsible. What? No, I'm not, Mom. How come I can't say that she's like annoying, but she can say I'm irresponsible and immature? Girls, let's just try to get along and eat our pancakes in peace. Yeah, Daisy. Yeah, Molly. Girls. I don't want to have to ground you, okay? No, I don't want to be grounded. I don't want to be. I'm supposed to go to the water park this weekend. So hungry, so hungry. Here you go, Molly. Enjoy. Thanks, Mom. Oh, wow. This looks delicious. Mm. Mom, you make the best pancakes in the world. I'm going to have some delicious tea. I'm going to have delicious tea. Well, I'm going to have lots and lots and lots. Of pancakes. Mmm, these pancakes are good. Okay, girls, I want to talk to you about something. Ah, oh, finally, we're getting a puppy! No, we're not getting a puppy, Molly. What I want to tell you is I have to run errands most of the day, and then I have a work meeting, so I have to leave someone in charge. <laughs> of course it's me, Mom. I'm the older one. Actually, Molly, it's going to be Daisy. You can't leave Daisy in charge of me. Molly, uh, I think she's kind of the mature one. What? No, she's not. Look at her. Look at her. She wears pigtails. So, Marty, even grown-ups wear pigtails. Yeah, Molly, sometimes they do. Oh, man, are you kidding me? That's why, Marty, I'm in charge. Okay, girls, try to get along while I'm gone, okay? See you later. Okay, Molly, you have to do everything I say. <laughs> That's a good one, Daisy. That's a good one. Oh, Molly, your room is smelly. And you didn't make your bed? Make a bed, Molly. Okay, I'll make my bed. Molly, all you're doing is jumping up and down. Whee! <laughs> Molly, why is it you're doing the opposite of what I say? Ah, uh, you're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. <laughs> Molly, I am the boss of you. Mom made me the boss. Now make your bed. Uh-huh, sure. And when you're done with that, do your homework. All right, I'll do my homework. 
Everything my sister says, I'm gonna do the complete opposite. The brightly colored unicorn, the brightly colored unicorn. I love this show. Molly, are you doing your homework? No! Molly! You're supposed to do what I say, I'm in charge! Uh-huh, sure you are, but I'm not. I'm doing the opposite. Molly, you do not do the opposite. Did you make your bed? Molly, you didn't make your bed! Oh my god, you're the most terrible um, sister in the world. Yep, and I'm proud of it. <laughs> Molly, do your laundry right now. Okay, I'll do my laundry. Wow, she's actually listening. She's actually getting her laundry. Okay, I'm impressed, Molly. Molly, where are you going? The washer's not outside. Uh-huh, I know. <laughs> Molly, are you going to throw your clothes in the pool? Molly, you better not. <laughs> See you later, clothes. Molly! You're grounded. Go to your room. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. Molly, what are you doing? I was trying to lock you out, but you came in too quick. Seriously, Molly, you need to calm down. Now go and start your chores. Okay, Daisy. Okay, here's the mop and the broom. And I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm just going to be lazy and relax. Ah, this is the life. Molly, are your chores done? No! Doing the exact opposite of what you say. Okay, you are doing the exact opposite of what I say, huh? Okay, noted. Um, please go swim in the pool. What? Swim in the pool? Uh, but that's fun. Yeah, I want you to have as much fun as you possibly can. Okay, fine. I guess I won't do it in the opposite. Whoa, baby Kira left all her toys all over the floor. <laughs> Watch this. Finally, you see things my way. Holy guacamole, this water's freezing. Daisy, what were you thinking? <laughs> now I want you to go inside and eat as much candy as you can. Woo, I'm liking the sound of that. Mmm, this is good candy. Mm. Molly, why are you eating all that candy again? Uh, because you told me to. Keep eating, Molly, you're not done. Oh, it's a lot of candy, Daisy, it's a lot. Keep eating it, Molly, keep eating it. Oh, oh my stomach hurts so bad. Oh. <laughs> Molly, where you going? I gotta go throw up! Oh, I gotta go to the bathroom. Oh. Molly, maybe you shouldn't do the opposite. You should just listen. I'm not doing the opposite. I'm doing exactly what you tell me now. Okay, okay, you're confusing me right now, Molly. But the point is, is that sometimes you should just listen to the mature and responsible sister. Okay, I'll listen to everything you say. As soon as I lay down for a while, because I ate way too much candy. See, if it was up to you, Molly, you would have done silly things the entire time. But I'm trying to tell you to do the right thing, and you're not even listening. Molly? Molly? Listen to me! <whistles> oh, brother. I can't be in charge of her. That's it! I quit! <laughs> now I can do whatever I want. Whenever I want. 